Hello YouTube, it's Doss Gregor, and I'm back. It's been since June that I've had a video, and I apologize, but I am the only main technician for the state that I live in, and work and projects and things have been kicking my butt. And sometimes you have to do those things called work so that you can enjoy the things that you like to do. And that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> you are looking at a strange desktop wallpaper. And this is probably going to give you a hint. Now, now before you guys go, oh my goodness, DOS is going Minecraft. Well... Some of you may already know, it's one of the things I really enjoy doing. And a lot of parents and guys out there have come to me saying, my kids love Minecraft. They want me to install this mod for them though, and I don't have a clue what they're talking about. Well this is going to start off a few tutorials and depending upon the kind of response I get I may try to continue it. I have actually been trying to teach myself Java to learn how to make my own mods for instance because there are some recipes that are out that, I, that, that don't exist or or there's some things I would like to make better for myself. I got lots of ideas swimming in my head and someday I hope to be smart enough to be able to put those into a mod, preferably before Minecraft becomes so, oh that's so 2010. <laughs> anyway, I thought I would create myself a new profile so I don't mess up all the different mod packs I've created and all the different things I've messed and done with with my own profile. So. This is DOS Minecrafter, and this is how it looks. We are going to start today with the bare bones nothing. If we look at my little directory here, no Minecraft at all, just a basic shell. And let's get started. First off, you need to make sure you have Minecraft. And to get Minecraft, we have to go to minecraft.net now in minecraft.net if you have already a profile that you've purchased for your child or yourself you'll need to log into that for my case DOS Gregor and then you'll want to go to the download section to go ahead and get the version of minecraft you need so and we're not going to talk about servers or anything like that right now but we're just going to go ahead and get Minecraft for Linux slash other. Yes, folks, we are other. So let's down download the Minecraft.jar file. Yes, we want to keep it. And that will put the Minecraft file inside of our downloads area. There we are. Now one thing I like to do is once I've got that file I like to go ahead and create a visible directory called Minecraft. You don't have to but if you're gonna follow my tutorials and hopefully that will be plural <laughs> then we will want to do that. So we're gonna go and we're gonna take that cut it out of there move it into here like so. Now to run that we're going to want to open up a command prompt go to Minecraft Java not Java Java dash jar Minecraft dot jar and run Now this is going to set up everything you need for Minecraft on Linux for vanilla, the bare bones. 
A lot of people are happy with vanilla, but mm, some people just don't care for it. Now, here you're going to want to put in your email address or username and your password. I'm going to pause here for a moment while I do that. And we are back. As you see, this is the welcome screen. Welcome DOS Gregor, ready to download and play Minecraft 1.8.8. Now from here, if you just want to play vanilla Minecraft, you can just hit the launch and go. But after a while, people start to get tired of Minecraft vanilla, and they want to add some mods. So we're going to look at that pretty soon. Another thing that you'll want to do, unless you want to always run Minecraft by itself like this, you're going to want to automate this with the menu system. Now to do that, it's pretty simple. What we want to do, let's go ahead and just close that for now, because we'll want to test that our menu works. I like to create in here a new text file, very simple, just call it minecraft.sh. And then we want to edit that file And we just simply want to put in java-jar. Now, sometimes I like to fully qualify this just to make sure that everything looks proper. So, slash home, minecraft, uh, dos minecrafter, dos minecrafter. Now, that would be your user profile, of course. Minecraft, slash, minecraft.jar and that should we save it and close it and we want to make sure that it is executable so go to the permissions for the properties check mark is executable and if we run it it opens up Minecraft for us with just that. Step one done. Now these steps here, they'll work with any application that you want to add and automate so it starts manually. So it's a good sort of thing to know. So we'll close that. Now over here, we will go over here and we'll look and we'll look in games and we'll say, oh gee, there's nothing really there. Nothing for Minecraft. Well, let's make something for Minecraft. So let's right click on there. Menu Editor. And we want to put this in the games area. So let's you know, open up. We can see everything that's there right now. We want to create a new item. So the new item name is going to be called Minecraft. And then with Minecraft we're going to say this is vanilla Minecraft. And the reason why I make a differentiation is if you decide down the road to check out Feed the Beast or the AT Launcher or one of the other many different Minecraft modded type setups, you're going to want to do something very similar to that and add those in here. And so you're going to want to differentiate that this is actually the vanilla Minecraft Launcher. Now your command is going to be slash home slash dos Minecrafter slash Minecraft slash Minecraft dot sh. Another thing that I like to do is in the advanced working path, put in the full working path. just because I like to fully qualify everything. Well, now that we have done that, we want to save our item. And you'll notice that there's no icon present. Now, this is something for a preference that anybody can do. 
I've gone on to the web and I've looked for a Minecraft icon and I found this Minecraft PNG. It's simple, it's good, it works well. You can either leave it in your icons directory under your username or you can copy it to a place that will always be available to any user and when you copy that and go to the root users share dum, 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 dum. There you are. And look for icons. And I've gone past it. There we are, icons. Now, you'll see I've already copied it in there. And I also copied a Netflix PNG file. Back in the day when you couldn't actually use Netflix through Chrome, uh, and you had to make Netflix kind of work, I did that on its own. But now we have Minecraft.png inside the user share icons area. Now what we can do is we can click on this for the icons. It'll list all the icons. We can go to other icons and I can search for Minecraft and find it and add it. And now we can hit save. If we go down here and go to games, we now see that there is vanilla Minecraft or Minecraft with vanilla Minecraft in the parentheses. Let's go ahead and close that, minimize that for now. And let's try it out. And as you see, it is launching it. You no longer have to remember to do the Java Dash Jar or anything else. You now have Vanilla Minecraft working from your start menu. Now from there, of course, you can create a desktop icon for it. You can do anything else you want with it and you have it running and it should work. Now let's just make sure it actually does work. Let us try to start. Uh, we'll download the first time everything you need. Now this is the latest version 1.8.8. .8. We'll just verify everything looks cool. There it goes downloading all the initial things. Now, now this is the first time download because you're logging into it so it'll take a little bit extra time but you'll also notice that vanilla minecraft should start very quickly shouldn't take too much when you start doing modded minecraft you'll notice that sometimes it can take anywhere from 20 seconds to if it's a small mod set up all the way up to a couple minutes to load the hundreds of mods that you might put in there and there we have it minecraft 1.8 as you can see no mods listed and there it goes, starting to play its music. And we have Minecraft Vanilla working in Gentoo Linux right now. Now let's go ahead and quit that. That ends part one of this tutorial series of just getting started with Minecraft. In part two, we will look at adding the basics for starting to create a modded world and setup. I hope you enjoyed this. I do hope I get some positive feedback. I know there's some closet Minecrafters out there that are Linux enthusiasts too that just might enjoy this. And as I said, if we get some good feedback, we'll keep moving on. I know, I know, Minecraft is so yesterday almost. And, and there's a lot of Minecraft guys out there that are kind of closing down shop. But I also know that I've also been getting a few requests here and there to show how to do this. So I might as well do it once, put it out there, and help you guys out, and uh, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. If it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you have a great day. Thanks, guys, and bye.